Hey guys, welcome to my conference room, okay? So check this out, follow me. So one of the biggest things that I hear is that Andy, so I'm really good at selling. I'm becoming great at selling, but the problem I'm having is closing. And I say the word triggered a lot, especially in the master closer seminar. What I see is a lot of salespeople when a customer says, hey, you know what, this isn't that great deal you were telling me about, give me my keys, we're out of here. And you know what happens all of a sudden, something hits you inside and you get triggered and you don't know where to go from there. All of a sudden, there's an underlying fear of you saying, man, I don't know where to go, I don't know how to handle this. So you pass it off to your managers for them to only come down on the price to hopefully save the deal because of the better price. That is not becoming a closer. A closer is a person that can convince somebody to give them what they want and not only close the deal, but close it for all the money. It's our job as salespeople to give people the reasons and excuses why they need to say yes and why they need to sign, especially on first pencil closes. So as I see all these salespeople, what happens is I don't see great closers and the paychecks reflect it. So one of the things that I really wanna get out there and I thought about making this video, how to go from being a great seller to actually being a great closer. Because if you're not gonna be a great closer, you're always gonna fail miserably on the negotiation and not have great paychecks. Come on in, I wanna tell you about this idea, let's crush it. Okay guys, it's Andy. So one of my main goals in life is to create salespeople that are making more money than imaginable by all the other people around them, which I call the one percenter. So when I sold cars, I made over 700,000 a year selling cars. Matter of fact, my last year selling cars, I made 715. Now let me tell you this, how I made that kind of money, if you ask Andy, well, man, how many cars did you sell a month? I averaged 70 cars a month, but I averaged 60,000 a month in commissions. Now I wanna explain this to you. My biggest month I've ever made in the car business, selling cars, was $74,000. But I've had some $20,000 months. And you may say, Andy, man, that's a lot of money. I'd give anything from that. And guess what? During this video, you're gonna learn that selling and closing are two completely separate things. And if you don't learn how to close deals, you will never make the big money. That dream that you're talking about with your wife, you know, and your kids, what, what, what the vacations you're gonna go on, paying your house off, palm trees in the backyard, all that stuff, it's all gonna go down the drain. It doesn't matter how hard you work, it doesn't matter how much you train, if you don't learn how to close, you will never get it. So I wanna go over some facts with you real quick, and then I wanna actually explain to you how to go from being a great seller to become a great closer, okay? So we're gonna call today's video to sell or to close, okay? So how to go from a seller to a closer. So let's start out with the three facts right here. This is gonna be the first one. The world is full of salespeople who learned how to sell but failed miserably when it came down to actually closing the sale. So closing the sale is everything. You know, I see a lot of salespeople that get triggered. And you say, Andy, all right, tell me what triggered means, all right? And obviously, if you've been to a master closer seminar, it's the first thing we have on the board when you walk in, you come in, and you see triggered wrote up on the wall. And what I do is that I teach people how to not get triggered by tough objections. So if I'm great at selling something, and I can get you excited about it, and I can get you interested in it, People won't buy without giving an objection. When that objection comes in, or when they say, yeah, sure, you know what, maybe I would take that deal if the deal was right. And then you go inside and you display some numbers. In the car business, cars are getting very expensive, okay? Guys, the market's booming right now, which means cars are costing, even pre-owned, more than they've ever costed to sell. With that being said, us as salespeople are, are have to be amazing at delivering bad news, okay? Okay? So, with that being said, you say, Andy, what do you mean delivering bad news? I thought we were going to say great news. No, it is great news. It is great news that there's a deal to be presented, but the deal to be presented doesn't mean anything if it can't be closed. You delivering bad news means this. People don't want to pay that much for the price. People don't want to pay that high on a payment. People want to get more than you're giving them for their trade. You see, those things, when we deliver those figures, they wanna give a smaller down payment than what you're asking. My point is, for a living, we have to be able to deliver great news, but to the customer is bad news. But guess what? The customers will turn back around, they will purchase, they will buy, and they will pay all the money if you can give them reasons and excuses why they should. Here, here's my point. Why do people fail miserably? But because they can't close the sale. I'm gonna give you my second fact here. You're really gonna like this. 
Hey guys, I see you. Listen, I appreciate you. Sorry for interrupting the video. I just wanted to tell you real quick, please do me a favor. Comment below. Let me know what you're struggling with. Let me know what you think about the video. I reply to every single one of my comments. I'm here to help you. And by the way, please like the video, subscribe, share it with a friend. Yeah, let's get back to the video. In fact, there are millions, that's a lot of people, of salespeople who have had great dreams. How many of you guys right now have great dreams? Okay, who have given up. That means they quit. They quit on those big dreams, right? Because they couldn't close the deal. So you know what happens? You get into sales and you love selling. And you're like, man, this is awesome. But what happens is your managers give you a little bit of training. They put you into a training class. You got some guy that kind of teaches you, we call it the road to the cell, which is beautiful. And by the way, if you don't know it, there are no shortcuts to the road to the cell. But the first 90% of the time, we're outside on the lot building value, making people fall in love with us, making sure they want the product. When people want what we have more than they want the money in their pocket, they'll spend it. But the last 10% of the time, we're inside the office and it's our job to collect 100% of the money. And that is when closing and negotiations and overcoming objections and the customer saying no, 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 is gonna come out. And I don't get triggered. I've had tons of training. And when I go in, that's how I made 700 grand a year, is that I could close the customer, I could make my customer happy, CSI, customer satisfaction. What's the number one thing to a dealer right now to keep their customers happy? How happy can your customers be when there's friction during the negotiation because you don't know how to negotiate? Isn't that funny? You know, we go around and we say, hey, we want to take great care of our customers, we want to make them great deals, we want to do this. Yeah, but when you can't talk about money with somebody, and give them advice on how to spend it and explain to them what they need to do and you can't do it with bulletproof confidence, make compelling presentations and do what? Go close that deal so you can keep your dream. You know what happens? There's no money to be made. So you go to work and you trade your time for not enough money, which I commonly see. And so millions of salespeople daily are given up on their dreams because they can't close sales. Let me give you some more facts. And this right here, this is what I did nonstop, and this is what I want you to do. And I want you to stop if this is you. Don't give up on your dreams, but you have to become a closer. You have to take action and say, hey Andy, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I'm not scared of pencils. When my manager gives me the numbers, I'll go in and take it in. But the truth of it is, the underlining fear is that I really honestly don't know what to say. I mean, I try to stay in there and fight for the money, but I usually end up saying things like, no more than, up to, meet me in the middle, reward yourself, your wife's worth it. I say stuff that I really don't want to say because I don't know what to say. If that's you, you reach out to me. I will help you. You want to become a great closer? I got you. But this is the last part right here on the facts. And I'm going to give you some more information on how to become a great closer. That great dream that died, this guy that gave up on it, that was scooped up. That dream was scooped up by a closer who had the same dream but could close the cell. So I want you to think about it. What I love to do is crush, is crush the competition who's asleep at the wheel, right? And when I sold in a dealership and when I was a manager, when I was a GM and I ran a company or whether I was on the bottom line and selling, I was a frontline soldier. I loved it when people came in my store. I made them fall in love with me. I made sure that they loved my vehicle. But you know what? When they came inside, there was a dangerous part of me in negotiating that came out that they were never aware of and that you couldn't tell. But most people, they don't carry that. And I call it the unfair advantage. Knowing how to negotiate and know what your competition don't know and most salespeople who join with me can close better than their managers, their GMs, the owners, and everybody. And yes, they're salespeople. And by the way, we were all salespeople. But if you can sell and you can't close, you might as well kiss your dreams goodbye. And I get it. You say, Andy, I don't have to have all that money. You know what? I can make it on 100 grand a year, 90 grand a year, 50 grand a year. Guys, you trade your time for money. 
You know what? When you kiss your wife and your kids and your wife or your husband goodbye in the morning, let me ask you this. When you kiss him goodbye, what are you going to? Are you going to build your dream? Are you going to be the first millionaire in your family? Are you physically going to take control of your life? The answer is if it's yes, become a closer. Don't let this guy scoot behind you and take your dream that you gave up on because you couldn't figure out what it was. Most of the underlying problems are fear of overcoming tough objections or figuring out how to bump customers with bulletproof confidence during negotiations. And by the way, blocking and tackling on overcoming objections, that is part of being a closer, okay? It's not always in the last 10% of the time. It might be somewhere through the middle of the cell and them say, hey man, you know what? I got three more cars we want to look at. So, you know, we're just going to get back with you. But hey, we appreciate you, okay? So, thank you. And all of a sudden, you just get shut down fast. And you're like, man, where do I go from here? So you run to your managers. Stop it. Take accountability for your own actions. I can teach you how to fix that problem, and I will, will teach you how to fix that problem. Let's go into this last one. Who gets what they want in life? Who gets it? I want you to think about this. Who gets what they want? Is it the dreamer or is it the closer? I'm so tired. If I hear one more salesperson tell me they're going to make $100,000, $200,000, $300,000, $400,000, and they don't learn how to be a closer, I'm going to lose it. You know why? Because you guys may do it one time, but you don't do it consistently. And by the way, in my life, I like to scale and elevate my game. You know what that means? That means if you've been selling cars, I want you to think about yourself right now and see if you're getting better and becoming a better closer. If you've been in the car business for three years, let's say the first year you made 50K. Second year, you made 110. Third year, you're back at 110 again and you managed. Guys, it's about maintaining and then multiplying. A lot of people know how to add and subtract, but they don't know how to multiply their income. I ain't trying to add 20 grand on your income. That didn't do anything for you, doesn't do anything for me. I don't take pride in knowing that I made a salesman another 50,000. Not when this business has hundreds of thousands of dollars to pay those who are serious. If you need a coach that can take you to the next level and literally teach you to become one of the best closers in the country, I want you to reach out to me. I will teach you how to go from a seller to become a deadly closer. You guys take this video and watch it again. I want you to embed this self on your heart so you can see who you want to be. And it's not about who you are today. It's about who you're becoming that matters. Hey guys, number one, thank you so much for watching the entire video. You guys are awesome. I'm grateful for you. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have my training program. So I thank you, I thank you, and I thank you. Um, I got three things for you real quick. Number one, shoot me a text message. If I haven't met you, I would love to. My phone number is 918. 210-0254. Shoot me a text. I'd love to meet you. Secondly, go to Facebook. Join Andy Elliott Car Sales Nation. That's Andy Elliott Car Sales Nation. One of the best Facebook groups in the world, hands down, for automotive sales training. And then lastly, I've got over 500 videos on YouTube, guys. Keep up the training. Keep watching the videos and crush it.